Welcome to WeConnect. For this episode of our show, we're right here at Chola Mandal in this very magnificent KCS Panikar Museum of the Madras Movement. And we're joined, in fact, today by his son, S. Nanda Gopal, who's, of course, the very well-known sculptor. Nandu, thank you for having us here. When we talk about movement, you talked about the Madras movement. I'd like you to explain to me what's it all about. Yeah, when, like I said, a movement, uh, uh, artists have always worked uh, within movements. Uh, it's not always that an artist can make it on his own. It's never happened really. Uh, they've always worked in groups and uh, this has happened all over the world. In India, you've had the Bombay Progressives, you've had the Bengal Movement, you've had the Delhi Group, you had the Baroda group, and similarly, you had the Chennai art movement. When I say the Madras movement, uh, it deals with an art which uh, we are dealing with time from the uh, uh, early 40s to the late 80s. And the Madras movement stressed on linearity. Well, what does that mean? Um, if, if you take a lot of painting which has happened in the country, it has dealt with volume. Whereas in Madras, the line was a very crucial factor. In fact, even the sculptors, um, in fact, all the sculptors who are really known in the Madras movement started life as a painter. And so the line, which, which is a very important part, even in sculpture, not volume. And so uh, when you say uh, the line, I think it has a lot to do, uh, you know, the influence of Carnatic music, uh, mathematics, and that is, I think, had a very deep impact on the painters and sculptors. Right. Now, though, I'll come back to that uh, movement and the line that you're talking about here. But in terms of the movement itself, uh, it en encompasses uh, anybody who's involved with art. You're talking about uh, sculpture and painting. So is it just these two, um, two types of artists? For instance, would it include music, music and other things, dance, music? What about that? Um, if you take uh, uh, mathematics, it's a very linear sort of thing. And that's had, I think, a profound influence on the painters and sculptors. Um, similarly, like I said, Carnatic music, which is very, com as compared to North Indian music, uh, which is very mellifluous, uh, Carnatic music is very mathematical and uh, severe. Uh, that's why if, if you take even uh, film, uh, Carnatic, I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, the North Indian style of music lends itself very easily to you know, popular uh, film music. Whereas Carnatic music is much more severe. Or take a person like M.D. Ramanathan. You know, it's so severe that it stands apart. And I think that has had an influence on you. Right. When, when you talk about uh, movement, and we are in this magnificent museum here that is dedicated to your father, so is this something that he wanted done? Would he have actually approved that you've done this kind of thing? And that the Chola Mandal Artist Village itself has put this beautiful place together. Uh, is, it, is it important to you as a son, as an artist, whatever? You know, you must take a time which was about 40 years ago when money was very difficult to come by and nobody even dreamt of having a museum. Take even, say, about, uh, say, 10 years ago, we would have never thought of a museum. In fact, there was a, a Dutch um, uh, a group which came and through their ambassador, they wanted to give us uh, nearly uh, 50 lakhs worth of equipment, uh, graphic equipment. But we had to raise 10 lakhs to build a building and we couldn't raise 10 lakhs those days. And so that project fell through. So thinking of a museum, it would have been impossible. So it has all to do with economy. You know, it has a lot to do yes. with economy. Art and money go hand in hand, hand I in guess, hand. right? Yes. Now, uh, since you actually opened this museum, what's been the kind of response? Um, give, me a, give me a ballpark figure. How many people have been through here in the past, what, one and a half years, two years? See, any museum and started takes a little time to grow. Now, in Bangalore, they've got the National Gallery of Modern Art, which is a fantastic building, but very few people coming. It takes time. But Cholomandal has already built in reputation internationally. So we have droves of children, school children coming and seeing, and that's really nice to see, uh, you know, children between six and uh, 12 coming and pouring over paintings. That's a wonderful experience. And, and, and uh, last was, month, yes. we had about 15 curators from, from the Guggenheim Museum visiting us. And they were shocked because they had never seen anything like this in India, which is, you know, a particular movement curated. They had never seen a thing like this. Now, the museum itself are all uh, 
permanent works of art that are up here, right? Yes. Uh, do you ever change them around or do you intend to? Have you got any other plans for the museum? Uh, actually, when we started it, uh, building the museum was not, a, uh, it was not so difficult financially. Why, why not? Where did the money come from? Uh, uh, a lot of, um, you know, uh, art uh, lovers, we, had, uh, we located about five or six of them and we approached them mm. and all of them said yes because they trusted, they knew that Chola Mandal was functioning for 40 years and some, the money would be put to good use, you know. And the fact that land escalated in price 35,000 times from the time it's we bought it, which is amazing, amazing, that amazing. Is amazing, yes. amazing. Now, when you were actually putting together this museum, I know you're talking about going to people with a begging bowl for yes. money, but yes. you also went with a begging bowl to yes. artists and to families to give them the works yes. of art. Yeah. That must have been a really tough task. Like I said, Jenny, the, when, when we, to build the building, the, to raise the money was not so difficult. Yes. To get the paintings, to tell each family, some of them who were the artists were dead, to tell them, part with your father's work, which is worth 25 lakhs, free, was some, something of a problem. But then since uh, I, uh, most of these uh, um, painters uh, were my teachers in college, and they, in turn, were my father's students. There was a double relationship. That was, <laughs> that was lucky. Right. That was convenient as well. That for was you. very convenient and lucky. You right. see. Otherwise, uh, they wouldn't have given it, right. definitely. Nandu, I'm going to ask you to just hold on a few more moments because we'll just take a break. But we'll be right back with you on WeConnect, so please don't go anywhere.